In the silent, endless expanse of space, where darkness stretches beyond comprehension and distance loses all meaning, time itself seems to slow. Out there, beyond the fragile glow of our solar system, among billions of stars and immeasurable voids, the universe hides its most unsettling secrets. And now, one of those secrets has revealed itself. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the cosmos, has done something no instrument before it could. Only weeks after unveiling galaxies formed near the dawn of time, Webb captured a phenomenon so extraordinary, so fundamentally disruptive to our understanding of cosmic order, that astronomers across the world were left stunned into understanding silence. Hovering billions of light years from Earth, Webb observed a supermassive black hole unlike anything ever documented. This was not a stationary gravitational titan anchored to the heart of a galaxy, slowly consuming stars and gas as black holes have done for billions of years. This one was moving. Not drifting. Not wobbling. Running. It was fleeing its home galaxy at an almost unthinkable speed, nearly 4 million miles per hour. At that velocity, it could travel from Earth to the Moon in mere minutes. A mass millions of times heavier than our Sun, hurled through intergalactic space like a cosmic projectile. According to everything we thought we knew, this should not be possible. Black holes are meant to dominate. They are anchors of galaxies, gravitational prisons so intense that not even light can escape their grasp. And yet, here was one that had broken free, tearing through the cosmic web, defying the fundamental rules of gravity itself. Astronomers huddled around data streams and spectral maps, eyes locked onto screens glowing with impossible numbers. At first, they suspected error. Instrument drift. Calibration failure. But the data held. Then came confirmation from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. The anomaly was real. A supermassive black hole was escaping its galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to see the unseen. Its golden mirrors collect faint infrared light that has traveled for billions of years, allowing humanity to look back in time and reconstruct the universe's earliest chapters. Webb reveals the birth of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the hidden architecture shaping cosmic evolution. But this discovery felt different. Almost intimate. Almost poetic. Because this runaway black hole was not merely destroying matter in its path. It was creating. As it plows through clouds of interstellar gas, its supersonic passage generates colossal shock waves. These waves compress hydrogen clouds with such force that they collapse, igniting rapid star formation. In its wake stretches a glowing ribbon of newborn stars, an illuminated scar nearly 200,000 light years long, twice the width of the Milky Way itself. Darkness was giving birth to light. Destruction was forging creation. A research team led by Yale University astrophysicist Professor Peter Van Dockham analyzed Webb's data in meticulous detail. Their findings, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The implications were staggering. This was no theoretical possibility. It was happening now, in the observable universe. How could such a massive object be ejected at such speed? One hypothesis suggests a violent galactic merger, where multiple black holes interacted in a chaotic gravitational dance. In such encounters, one black hole can be slingshotted outward at extreme velocity. Another theory proposes the recoil effect of gravitational waves, produced when two supermassive black holes merge asymmetrically, launching the remnant away like a cosmic kick. But even these explanations feel incomplete. As scientists struggled to rewrite their equations, the universe revealed yet another marvel. While the world was still grappling with the runaway black hole, Webb turned its gaze toward a galaxy known as ARP-220, often called the Shining Merger. 
located roughly 250 million light years away in the constellation Serpens, ARP 220 is one of the most luminous galaxies ever observed. Its energy output rivals nearly 1 trillion suns, making it a blazing beacon in the infrared universe. To imagine its brilliance, picture the entire Milky Way multiplied many times over, each star burning hotter, faster, and more violently. But ARP 220 is not a single galaxy. It is the aftermath of a catastrophic collision. Nearly 700 million years ago, two massive spiral galaxies were drawn together by gravity in a slow, inevitable descent. Over millions of years, their structures distorted. Spiral arms stretched and twisted. Then, at last, they collided. The impact was apocalyptic. Galactic cores fused. Billions of stars were flung into chaotic orbits. Vast clouds of gas collapsed inward, igniting one of the most extreme starburst events ever observed. Within a region only 5,000 light years across, less than 1 20th the size of the Milky Way, Webb detected more than 200 massive star clusters packed together in crushing density. Radio telescopes revealed over 100 supernova remnants within just 500 light years. Massive stars lived short, violent lives, exploding in seeding space with heavy elements. Iron. Carbon. Oxygen. The building blocks of planets, chemistry, and life itself. Where Hubble once saw only obscured rings of dust and gas, Webb's infrared vision pierced the veil. It revealed ghostly tidal tails stretching tens of thousands of light years into space. Spectral arms pulled outward by gravity's relentless grip. These glowing rivers of stars are scars of a violent past, frozen in light. At ARP 220's core, filaments of red, cyan, and amber weave through darkness. Each color marks the presence of complex organic molecules. Dust glows like embers. Gas clouds shimmer. New stars ignite in rapid succession. It is a furnace of creation fueled by chaos. ARP 220 stands as a cosmic paradox. Just like the runaway black hole. Both tell the same story. Destruction is not the end. It is transformation. From collision comes creation. From collapse comes light. The universe does not waste its violence, it recycles it. And through Webb's unmatched gaze, we are witnessing the cosmos not as a static place, but as a living, evolving system. A universe that breathes, collides, tears itself apart, and rebuilds again and again across billions of years. Every photon Webb captures is a message from the past. Every discovery rewrites our understanding of reality. We are learning that even the most terrifying forces, black holes, supernovae, galactic collisions, are not merely agents of destruction. They are architects of structure, creators of stars, and perhaps even enablers of life. As Webb continues to peer deeper into space and further back in time, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. The universe is far stranger, far more dynamic, and far more beautiful than we ever imagined. In its darkest corners, light is being born. In its most violent moments, creation thrives. And somewhere out there, racing through the void, a black hole carries the message that even gravity itself is not the final authority. The cosmos is alive with paradox. And we are only just beginning to understand its language.